Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is a very relaxed Sunday video. I've got no makeup on, I've not dressed up for it, my hair is just naturally dried, you know, we're going for very chill vibes today. And I've actually been requested to make this video, which is why I'm doing it, and it's just a video chatting about Love Island because we all love, I love Love Island. Well, I know I do anyway, and I could literally just chat about it for ages. So I thought this would actually be quite a fun little video, but to make it a little bit more structured, I've just got up all of the people that are on it at the moment. I've tried to film this as close to it going up so that everything is very relevant. So bear with me if I've got a few things that aren't quite the same now because they might have changed since I watched it. So bear with me on that part. But yeah, I thought I would just chat through what I think of everybody, who my favourite couples are, what I've thought of the situations, just have a general chat about Love Island and I just thought it'd be quite fun and I think this is something I would quite like to watch. So hopefully you guys will like to watch it too. Right, I've got up the contestants. So the first one on here is Georgia. So she is one of the newer ones. She's not like new new anymore. And she, she went for Kim, which I think was a bit stupid but then she did say that she didn't know that Kem and Amber had just got like officially together which they do go into like lockdown before going into the show so she might not have seen that before she went in so like fair enough but at the same time she knew that Camber and uh, at Camber she knew that Camber were like together Kem and Amber were like really together I don't think she was really I don't know I, if, I, if it was me going in I would have thought well I'm never going to get anywhere with Kem so there's no point Plus, you do want people to like you, so you'd go for someone different and then see who you connect with when you're in there, rather than just like shoving your foot in and then people hating you and being like, now nah, I've got no friends. So I think she was a bit silly, but at the moment I think she's all right. But the last episode I watched, Mike and Sam had just gone in, so I don't have a clue what's going on with that. And I know that Mike said that he liked Georgia and Tyler, and I'm not sure what Sam was doing, so she might have got one of them by now, which would probably work out better for her because they are single. <laughs> right, moving on to the next one, Jamie. Jamie and Camilla, oh my God, I love them so much. I think Camilla has, I'm really surprised at how many people she's actually been with. I'm pretty sure when I watched the After Sun show, she has actually been with the most people coupled up with the most like the different most different amount of people which I find crazy I don't know I just didn't imagine Camilla getting with that many people just because she didn't seem like the kind of type that would be able to connect with that many people but she's done really well and obviously she was with Johnny to begin with which to begin with I loved and then I thought Johnny was an absolute bummer and now I don't really like him and he speaks so badly about Camilla as well and I'm like why she's done nothing to you and Je when Jamie's come in, well, she had Craig after that, didn't she? Which she said that she couldn't be with Craig because she still had feelings for Johnny and it was too sad seeing Johnny come back into the villa, which I thought was a bit strange because, I don't know, one minute she was really happy with Craig and then all of a sudden she wasn't. But then I suppose at least she told Craig straight away, whereas a lot of girls are like, don't even tell them about it. Anyway, Jamie is the situation right now. He, oh my god, when it was her birthday and he made her avocado on toast and said happy birthday, Cam. My heart melted. I just think they're perfect for each other. I so hope it's genuine from both sides because I love them as a couple. Absolutely love them. Moving on to Theo. He is an odd one. Like when Johnny left, fair enough he didn't like Johnny, but to say to Tyler, oh, if you loved him enough, you would go with him. Like she did not need that at that time. I just think he just wants to stir and he wants drama, 100% wants drama, which can be quite fun, but I don't really like, it makes me not really like him. I like it when they're all like happy and they all get along and they're all nice. But yeah, I don't really have a lot to say about Theo. He was trying to get with Tyler, it wasn't happening. But then Tyler said to Johnny when she left, like, oh, you better be waiting for me on the outside. And I think Tyler is going to try and get with someone, either Mike or Sam, maybe. I don't think she'll get with Theo now after that comment. But, yeah, I don't really know what Theo's going to do. I don't really know who he's got his heart set on at the moment. I don't feel like there's anyone in there for him, really. Moving on to Alex. Oh, my God. What an attractive-looking person. <laughs> He is so attractive and him and Montana, 
Oh my god, when he asked Montana to be his girlfriend, I literally screamed at the TV. It was like the cutest thing. But he doesn't really say a lot, does he? Which I think can be a good thing, can be a bad thing. He doesn't get a lot of airtime just because he doesn't really bitch about people, which I think is quite nice, to be honest. The most he's really been involved is when Johnny was having a go at, at um, Theo for doing, like, for going behind all the boys' backs and talking to all the girls. But I love Alex and Montana's relationship and again I so hope it's genuine and I so hope it lasts because I think they have a chance of winning especially because Montana Montana is my favorite girl in the village has been from the beginning and I think that could that could boost them through they they're in my top three of who I think could win it Alex and Montana I just hope it carries on because they're so cute right Gabby is next on my list I really liked Gabby and Marcel to begin with. I thought they were like the really strong couple. But then when she started doing the little messaging thing on her phone to Marcel saying, oh Montana and Alex are trying to steal our roles, asking people if they want to chat and stuff. I was like, steal your roles? What? Like, you're just trying to be nice, surely. And when she got upset because no one was picking her to go on dates, I was like, you're in a relationship with Marcel. Like, why does it matter? Like, I get that it can probably be like, oh, no one's picking me. But then if they know that she is in a relationship with Marcel, that's going to make avoid people off, which it should, because she's in a relationship with someone. So the boys shouldn't be like, oh, I'm going to try and split up a relationship. So I didn't get that at all. I just thought she was being very... Actually, it almost annoyed me because I was like, you're with Marcel. Marcel is so good. Don't hurt him. <laughs> I think Marcel has just got a heart of gold. And Gabby, I'm not sure on her anymore. I think she's a bit... She, I think she's almost, she wants to win and she thinks her and Marcel are a good way of winning and I think Marcel lo likes her more than she likes him, which is sad and I, I hope I'm wrong, but that's my opinion on them. Coming on to Chris, he is one of my favourite boys. In fact, he probably is my favourite boy. I just find him hilarious. When him and Olivia first got together and they were just like, the way they talk to each other and she's like talking to him and he's like oh would you just shut up and let me speak and i just find them together hilarious i just think they're so funny the way that they like shut each other down all the time but i feel so bad for him recently because what's just happened for me is olivia has been saying to him like i don't think it's gonna work and they've like ended it then they had that massive argument in the dressing room which was all a bit silly and chris was just sorting his hair out so the camera battery just ran out well, I say just, it ran out a while ago. I had to stop, charge it, and now we're back again. And all I remember is I was talking about Chris because I left this up on my laptop. So we were talking about Chris and Olivia and the fact that they'd just broken up and I, like, my heart was breaking when he was crying about it. I think he is so genuine towards Olivia and I think Olivia was making, like, a mountain out of a molehill. Like, I don't really think she had that much to... I don't know, I just think she's very confused and she's not sure if she can get better. You know, she's not ready to settle because she do, she doesn't want to find someone else and think that they'd be better. And I think she always wants what she can't have. That's what it seemed with like the whole Mike and Chris situation in the beginning. So I absolutely love Chris. He's probably my favourite guy, as I said just a minute ago. Or, yeah, <laughs> as I did say. So I think... I don't know. I really want them to work because I do love them as a couple. I think they are suited and I think that they are very similar in the way that they like talk to each other and things. But I just think she needs to be more like in it. She needs to be that like, 100% for Chris and I just don't think she is at the moment which makes me so sad because I love Chris. Moving on to Johnny. We've already briefly touched on Johnny but not his biggest fan at the moment. No. I think... The way that he is with Camilla saying that she like stopped him from being himself and now he's so much happier and being with Tyler has just made him be more himself and things like that. I'm just, I don't know, Tyler's getting, Tyler like sort of ended it with him anyway, didn't she? And then didn't because when he left they were like back together again. How did that happen actually? I know she was saying she was getting bored. So that's what makes me think she's gonna go off with someone else even though she said to Johnny, wait for me on the outside. But she was getting bored and yeah, Johnny's just, I don't know, I find him a bit boring and a bit, he's, he seems very jealous and doesn't really, he, he just doesn't really join in with much. He just did seem quite boring recently and you don't really see it, well he's gone now but you didn't really see a lot of him in his end days. So I don't really have a lot to say about Johnny. He just annoyed me the way he talked about Camilla and 
I thought to begin with he was so nice with Camilla, but people change. People's true, true colours show. Now we're moving on to Marcel. Again, already briefly touched on Marcel. Marcel is just, he has a heart of gold. He literally is so nice to everyone. He is like the person you would want as a friend to go to advice for. He's just so lovely. He's so like bubbly, joins in. He loves Gabby so much. Like you can just see the way he like, he just loves Gabby. <laughs> like he just does. I hope it's genuine, but I hope she's genuine. I don't know. I just really don't want him to get hurt. It will kill me if he gets hurt. But loving Marcel, I feel like I don't have a bad thing to say about him. I literally don't. He's just great. <laughs> I did find it funny though when they were all like split up into the separate villas and he kissed that girl. And as soon as he did it, he was like, what have I just done? Because he just literally rushed into it without even thinking. That was quite funny. But yeah, I'm liking Marcel. He's nice. I just don't want him to get hurt. The next one is Tyler. When she came in, I did not like her at all because she split up Johnny and Camilla and at the time I loved Johnny and Camilla. But she does seem all right. She seems like she's fitting in a bit more with everybody, but there's something about her. Like, I don't think she's very loyal to who she's with. Like she was saying she was getting bored of Johnny, but I don't know. I think she could try and go for Mike. It wouldn't surprise me if she tried to go for Mike, but who knows? It's a mystery to me right now it might have already even happened there's oh i've got one episode to catch up on i so should have catched up on it before i filmed this video but if i didn't film it now there is no way i would have got it filmed and edited and up for sunday so that's why i'm filming it now anyway i just think she would date a lot of people i feel like she's not gonna stick to one person i think she would like to be with a lot of different people that's the sort of vibe i get from her and no, I don't know. I feel like she's almost a little bit snaky. I think she will... I don't know. I really, I'm really unsure with Tyler, to be honest. I think she isn't going to go back with Johnny on the outside. I don't think that's going to happen. And I just don't... I'm not a massive fan of her. Let's just leave it with that. I'm just not a big fan. I don't get good vibes from her. <laughs> right, moving on to Kem. Kem, absolutely love Kem. I think he is hilarious. The way that they always, like, rap and stuff in the villa is just so funny. And some of the things he comes out with are just hilarious. And him and Amber, I actually love them now. Like they were very on and off, but I've always loved them together. I think they've always suited together. And the way that he asked her to be his girlfriend was the cutest thing with the little text messages going round. And then he was there like, wanna be my girlfriend. But the thing with Amber is I think she is all for Kem and I think the break apart made her realise that. But before that, I felt like both of them were just getting annoyed about nothing. I was watching and they were both getting annoyed at each other and I was like, wait, what just happened? Like, what did they just get annoyed at? I'm so confused. And they were just really... They must have just not shown us some of it, surely, because Kem was saying how he wasn't himself and they felt like Amber was making him act a certain way. But I didn't see that. I didn't see how that was happening unless it just because we're not there we don't see it I don't know I didn't see where any of that came from but I think the break apart for them were, was very good and I'm now very happy for them to be back together and I hope that they last because I think them two are very cute together and I think they do look good together as well but I love Kem anyway he's just funny I think he's hilarious Next one is Olivia. Now I'm very unsure with Olivia whether I like her or whether I don't like I think I like her when she's normal and not having a go at Chris and like her and Chris are getting on and they're just like bantering with each other and it's funny but I think in general I don't really I'm not a massive fan just because of the way that she talked to Chris without really I didn't really see there being a reason for her to talk to him like that and she was like oh well you say things to me all the time that are mean and it's not okay for me to say things to you but the difference is she actually broke up with him in her anger snap like, you don't do that. Like, if you're angry at someone, yeah, you say things you don't mean. But do, does it really go as far as actually ending it and breaking up with him? I don't know. Like, that that for me, like, that whole argument for me was a bit silly. And the way that she probably kept raising his voice, she was like, I've got to raise my voice because I've got to talk over you. And he was literally whispering, like, please, can you not shout at me? Please, can you not shout at me? I just felt so bad for Kristen. I feel like she just, he didn't deserve that. Like, I feel like she might have been on her period or something. I don't know. Like... 
she proper snapped and then she realizes that she's done it and she thinks and she feels bad about it but she's like she's done it quite a lot recently so i'm not sure what i'm feeling about olivia i hope they work but for me personally i think chris deserves better someone that's fully in it fully knows what they want whereas i don't think she does so i don't know i do want them to work but at the moment i feel like chris deserves better right amber is next amber i do really like amber actually but I feel like she's not really been in it a lot recently, I feel. I don't really think I know much of what she's been doing recently. It's just her and Kem together. And I think they're quite happy now. And I'm just really happy for her, to be honest. She seems to get on really well with all the girls as well. She seems to be, like, quite nice to all of the girls. But I don't really have a lot to say about Amber. I don't know. She's nice. <laughs> oh, it's so bad that I have so much to say about some people and not a lot to say about others. But, I don't know, she's just, she's just nice. I think her and Kem together, when they're good, they're really, like, funny. But I don't think she quite gets Kem's, like, humour. Like, he's funny all the time. And I feel like she's just there, like, don't get it. <laughs> but I do like Amber, and I like her and Kem together. And I hope they stay together. Right, my camera battery is already flashing again. So we've got to speed it up. Right, next is Montana. She is my favourite girl. She is so nice to everyone, I, th I think. And, like, she's so, like... To the point, like, she doesn't go behind anyone's back if she doesn't like something, she says it to their face. Like, right in the very beginning, she said to Olivia, was it Olivia and Sam were talking because they were together originally? And she was like, oh, can you not bring that in on the whole group? It made it awkward. Then Olivia snapped at her saying, oh, why are you being like that? And, like, that wasn't very nice, blah, blah, blah. But I think it was a perfect thing to do because Montana said it as it happened without going behind her back and bitching about it to other people before then telling Olivia about it. So I think Montana is like one of the most normal, genuine people in there. And I just think she's so nice. Like she's just so nice to everyone. And she waited for Alex to come in when she then found someone. She wasn't just going for anyone, which I again think, she, like I think that shows a lot of her personality that she won't just go for someone because of going for someone. She will wait until something's actually right for her. So she's just my favorite, absolute favorite. Next is Camilla. So I really like Camilla as well. Again, she's got a heart of gold. She literally won't do anything bad. If she does anything bad, she feels terrible about it, which I just think is so like sweet and like pure. Like I think she's very pure, but her and Jamie seem to be going amazingly, which I'm so happy about. And I just love having Camilla in there. She's one of those people that, that I just, I would be really upset to see go because I just think even though she doesn't cause drama or she doesn't have like that much, going on in the villa does that make sense i don't know she's just one of those people that i love having in the villa i absolutely love it and her and jamie's like little love story i hope it continues and see like loads more of it i just love it next one is well all of these ones are dumped ones now i think i'm going to stick with just the ones that have been in there the last thing i'm going to end on is jess and mike and dom oh my goodness who thinks that something did happen with jess and mike not necessarily go in the whole way but I think something happened with Jess and Mike. I hope it didn't because I loved Dom and Jess and the way that Dom was so loyal to her in the house was just insanely cute. So I hope nothing did, but I have this gut feeling that something happened. And again, I haven't seen the flipping episode with Mike in yet, so I don't know if anything's been revealed, of if, if they did anything. So I'm very looking forward to find that out. But I don't know. I think they're always gonna deny it, but if something did happen, but I think something happened. I feel like at least they kissed. Like, at least, surely something. They seemed so close in all of the interviews. And that interview where her hand was on his leg and then all of a sudden the, the camera was on her and she, like, moved it away quickly. Like, that is so suspicious. Come on now. But let me know all of your thoughts in the comments. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I um, These are obviously all just my opinions. I'm not saying these are the right or wrong things to think. These are literally... My opinions on the show i just love talking about it it's like my favorite all-time show ever and i just love it so yeah let me know all of your opinions because i would love to have a conversation about it with you in the comments i could literally talk about this all day let me know about the jess and dom and mike situation as well if you agree or disagree with me but i think something's happened i don't know anyway I am going to end it here. Let me know if you want more videos like this. I love just chatting to the video, to the video, just chatting to you guys like this. Very casual, 
just it's just nice it's just a nice little change just to, to sit and chat about something that i love <laughs> but yeah i hope you enjoyed it if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it also subscribe if you're new or if you just want to see more videos there's also the notification button next to the subscribe button so that you can be notified every time i upload so that you definitely won't miss one there's links in the description to my vlogging channel because i am a daily vlogger as well also last sunday's video